I'm going to show you how to use the AirPlay on your Roku TV. Now the thing is, Roku is rolling out with the built-in AirPlay 2 and HomeKit on many of their Roku TVs. I mean, I, I'm using the Westinghouse Roku TV, but you have the Hisense uh, Roku TV, TCL, On, Element, Sharp, RCA Roku TV, and so on. The thing is, they're only rolling out the built-in AirPlay on some of the models, some of the 4K models, so you just have to check, okay? Anyways, let's go ahead and check first. Uh, first thing is, let's go ahead and click on your home button. And then from here, we're gonna go down to settings. Now move over to the right. Now scroll down. Now you should have Apple AirPlay and HomeKit, okay? Hopefully your model TV has this. Now if you don't have this, then what you wanna do is go ahead and do a software update. Just try to do a software update and then after the update is complete, come back and see if um, this is in the settings now. Under settings, and then you should see Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. Okay, anyway, so let me go ahead and click on OK here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look at the settings here. So you see AirPlay here. Okay, so I currently have AirPlay on, off and then there's on. Here's a first time code that's required, like a four digit code. I'll show you um, what happens with that. I'll put every time, I'll go ahead and, because I already AirPlayed my uh, iPhone many times. So let me go back now. So you got the uh, required code, and of course you got subtitles cap captioning. So you can see AirPlay is on. So I'm just gonna go, and it doesn't matter where you are on a TV. Now go ahead and grab your uh, iOS device. It doesn't matter if it's an iPad, MacBook, Apple computer, iPhone, iPod. Okay, anyway, I'm using a uh, iPhone here, and I'm gonna scroll down. Um, the um, iPhones, I think it's iPhone 7 and above. Uh, to get the control center, top right hand side, you scroll down, okay, and you see the screen mirroring here. If you have a older iPhone with the home button here, you may have to swipe up from the bottom, okay. Anyway, this is the control center, and I see screen mirroring right here. Let me tap on that, and it should find my 43 inch. This is a Westinghouse Roku TV. Let me go ahead and tap on that right there. Also, note that the TV and your iOS device need to be on the same home Wi Fi network, okay. Now it's asking me for a code here 2882. Go ahead. Okay, let me click on OK there. And voila, you can see that we're mirroring here. Now this is great now. I mean, it's, it's a wireless screen mirror basically. Now you can show your photos and videos um, to your friends and, and family and whatnot onto the big screen. Now you can also use your apps too to watch videos. Like for instance, let me pop on YouTube here and I'll press play on this video right here. And the volume Pretty and everything guys. So you have will come out from the TV. Seven, and you're able to control the volume from your phone as well, okay? I can go ahead and pause, oops, pause. I can go ahead and fast forward. Now press play. Okay, also, of course, I mean, like I said, and of course, you know, you can, you can even show your um, camera as well here. Let me just pop on my camera and I'll show you you can see this right here go ahead and turn it over and you can see let me put this remote down there you can see the remote right there take a look at my flip-flops right there as you can see anyway so if you want to go ahead and disconnect just go ahead and uh, bring back the control center on the, this iPhone top right hand side and then I see a uh, before it says screen mirroring now it says the name of your TV and mine's the Westinghouse Roku TV just tap on that click on stop mirroring and there you go pretty simple